Hello, this is Vern, and if you are tired of getting your heart broken into a million pieces with men, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five specific actions you can take starting today that will significantly reduce your propensity for having your heart broken and hurt. So stick around. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be .com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today's episode is very simple. I'm going to share with you five actions you can take to prevent your heart from getting broken time and time and time again. As random as it seems, every time you enter a relationship that's painful, there are predictable ways of entering a relationship that exponentially increase your chances of getting your heart broken, and there's ways that can significantly reduce your propensity for getting your heart broken. There's no way to eliminate the possibilities. If you want to experience love, you have to be willing to risk getting your heart broken, but you don't have to do it in a way where it's obvious and it's you're driving into the heartbreak. You can prevent it. And the first way I'm going to suggest today is that you focus when you connect with a man, even if you're focusing on, I want to find my soulmate, I want to find a husband, I want 10 children, anything you're looking for. I need for you to focus on creating a friendship first. You can't connect with a man, not get to really know who he is, not experience depth with him, and then have him become your boyfriend. Why? Because then there's going to be so many unknowns, so many nasty surprises along the way, most likely, that would not have taken place. Have this man become your friend? Have you understood where he's coming from? You get a chance to go into his heart. He gets into your heart. You recognize if you're compatible. Now, it's still a risk at that point to create something more intimate, but it's a bigger risk if you start from, we don't know each other, but there's chemistry and there's connection, so it should work, right? It doesn't work that way. Second one is take longer to become intimate with him. I've mess I'm not going to create another video about this. I've created probably three or four videos about when to wait and how to wait to create intimacy. I'll just say this briefly right now. If your first connection with a guy is the physical connection and you do that before the emotional connection takes place, before you get a chance to see who he is, the likelihood that you'll meet some gigantic size of Texas red flags is very, very large. So make sure that you're holding off for longer into the intimacy part so that you really understand who you're literally getting in bed with. Okay? Number three, you need to remember to own your happiness every step of the way. It's very common for someone to be owning her happiness. A guy connects with her, she forgets about her own happiness, and now he becomes her, of her happiness, and then it becomes a clusterfuck at that moment. That's the clinical term I use, a clusterfuck. Okay? So if you don't want to avoid that happening to you, if you want to avoid creating that kind of misery that comes when you expect for someone to fulfill your own sense of light, all you have to do is, when things get intense, create the space to continue doing what feeds you. He connects with you because he's seeing a source of light in you. If you stop doing what sustains that source of light, the source of light diminishes. And if the source of light diminishes, the passion diminishes, and then there's no longer a possible relationship in there. Uh, number go, That goes for him as well. Number four is learn to speak up earlier. Sooner rather than later is the, is the mantra, okay? Why? Because if you start noticing things that don't resonate with you and you speak up then, they don't create this sense of heavy weight by maybe it took place five times before you said something. By the fifth time it happens, you're feeling way less enchanted in the relationship. You're feeling more closed off. You're feeling less vulnerable. You're feeling less likely to open your heart. But if you speak up at the beginning, then you're more likely to at least clear it up and figure out if there's a way out or if you're starting to take note and maybe there's one area of potential non-compatibility. Now, not saying that you can't be compatible in certain areas and create a relationship because successful relationships include areas of not being compatible. But when those areas are fundamental non or deal breakers for you, then that becomes very, very important. So speak up early, my dear. Last one that I'll message to, uh, send, say to you today is... Uh, know when to walk away. Uh, there's pain, uh, uh, growing pains in any relationship, but when the growing pains become, that's the relationship, painful, 
it's incompatible, it's te tempestuous, it's uh, aggressive, it's when it's not the, it's, you're clearly feeling it's the wrong kind of guy for you, it probably is. And the biggest sadness, uh, I, I, one of the sadnesses that I experienced when I connect with women is like, they connected with a guy who was not right for them and they walked away two years later. So learn the art of when to stay with a guy and when to walk away. Very, very important. So if you find this is all helpful, useful, insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the first line of the description of this video, I'm sharing a link that will allow you to sign up to a free class that I'm sharing with you. In case you find this interesting, I'm gonna take that way deeper on that masterclass. If you find that, hey, you know what? I don't want to experience heartbreak, but I do want to understand how I can step into a better kind of relationship. That's what this masterclass is all about. Uh, all you do is enter your name and email after you click on that. You click on that link, send it to a page, you click on that yellow bar and then enter your name and email and then you'll be taken right away into that free masterclass. Hope this is helpful and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.